Okay, so today's video is about how to install the auto headlights if you don't have them. Uh, so I had this when I first got the LR3, but I wanted the auto headlights, but it didn't have it. So I got the switch from a salvage yard. And what I did notice was the wiring is all the same. So what you need to do is just pop this top off it just comes straight off and then this will come just lift off and you can unplug it and then there's just some uh, t20s and you can swap out this switch for this one but it won't work there's more to do so let's let's review that so again the wiring is all the same. So it's not like there's more wires. But what you need to do is come up here and fish around for the brown plug. And what mine did not have was a rain sensor. So I have the base um, rear view mirror. So I've replaced that with a backup camera. But the rain sensor sits right here, so I have a different windshield. Now, because this rain sensor is up here and it's dark, and I was, um, I, you know, basically I have, uh, the lights are on all the time, so it's almost like I have daytime running lights. But you need this rain sensor, and then you need a way to turn it on. So I turned it on with the gap tool, uh, added rain sensor to there. And so now when I'm on auto, it uh, works. So put it on auto and uh, they'll turn off uh, when you take the key out of the ignition and they will uh, turn on um, when you start up the car. So like I said, I'll have uh, daytime running lights now because of it, but that's what you needed. You needed uh, the rain sensor here and the, the plugs there, it's a, it's a dark plug and then um, turn it on with the gap tool. So here's some screenshots of the gap tool to turn on the rain sensor. So first go to uh, car config. It'll open up the CCF. It'll load all that. Uh, choose instrument pack. And then you can turn on the, the you've got a rain sensor. So it's under instrument pack under this CCC or the CCF. 